Good morning, everyone. As you can see behind me is a research vessel, Atlantis, which will be carrying the submarine Alvin out to the deep water horizon site. We spoke to some of the scientists who will be conducting some research on this trip. Having the Alvin at our fingertips is fabulous, especially this new Alvin. We are so excited to be out here and to be part of the initial uh, science efforts with, with Alvin. This is, a, this is a, an incredible privilege. With Alvin, you know exactly where you are going and what you are going to sample. When you really want a specific hydrocarbon seep, these things are highly localized. You cannot just throw at random a multicora into the ocean and hope you hit it. One really has to go there with Alvin and sample carefully exactly the right spot. We've had ROV cruises aimed mainly at the coral side of, of our program, but we've really never had eyes on the bottom in a submarine at any of our sites. So we want to know, you know, what is the threshold? You know, how is the, the, the Gulf ecosystem, particularly in the deep ocean, conditioned to respond to low levels of hydrocarbons? And how is that system altered when you have a huge input as we had with Deepwater Horizon? There's very little oil on the beaches anymore there's still some oil in marshes. They see a clean beach and they think everything is fine. And the bottom line is that there's still ecosystem impacts of this oil spill. And it's really critical for programs like EcoGig and the other uh, government funded consortia and investigators to, to do these long-term monitoring programs and studies so that we can evaluate and, and see both the long-term impacts and the recovery of, of different components of the ecosystem. And the only way that happens is if you do repeated studies at the same sites over long periods of time. Well, it's awful windy right now, but hopefully this week it'll be smooth sailing for the Atlantis, which departs this week. I'm Gary Finch for 3 in the Morning.